Since August 5th, 2021, the Aleutian Islands have been unusually active as three volcanoes are simultaneously erupting. Of these three volcanoes, the most notable eruption so far has originated from the Great Sitkin Volcano, which thus far has constructed a one kilometer wide lava dome. Then, on December 10th, a series of earthquakes with a potential magmatic signature were detected at a fourth volcano, causing its alert level to be raised to yellow. Normally, adding another volcano to the watch list due to a potential imminent eruption is not big news, as Alaska contains 86 active volcanoes. However, what made this announcement so unusual is that it occurred at a volcano which was thought to be extinct, as it had not erupted in more than 10,000 years. Known as Davidov, this volcano is sometimes nicknamed the Alaskan Krakatoa, as its edifice contains a group of five once interconnected islands which mark the edges of a large caldera. So, will this volcano erupt? How rare is it for a volcano thought to be extinct to produce an eruption? This video will answer these two questions and discuss what might happen next. The Davidov volcano is located far away from the Alaskan mainland in the remote western reaches of the Aleutian island chain. As part of the Rat Islands, there are no nearby settlements, and this volcano is in between two other active volcanoes, Sagula to the west and Little Sitkin to the east. The Davidov volcano began forming an estimated 3 million years ago when magma related to the subduction of the Pacific Plate underneath the North American Plate migrated upwards before erupting onto the ocean floor on a plateau at a depth of 300 feet. Over time, a large submarine volcanic cone was built which towered towards the surface. After finally breaking the surface in an explosive eruption, an ash-ridge plateau was built forming the base of the volcano. Volcanic eruptions during the subsequent phase of activity produced large lava domes as the viscous lava flows were unable to travel very far, resulting in the creation of overlapping domes of material. This lava was unusually silica-rich, resulting in the emplacement of both dacite and rhyolite volcanic rock. For context, when these two rock types are observed in a volcano, it is indicative of the average eruption being highly explosive, as the viscous lava makes it very difficult for underlying combustible gases to escape. Then, around 2.6 million years ago, a large plug built on top of the Davidov volcano. Over time, a large amount of magma and gas grew underneath this plug, causing an immense amount of pressure to build. Finally, the pressure was released, causing a large section of the volcano to collapse into the ocean. As a tsunami was generated, pyroclastic flows raced across the surrounding landscape, potentially even reaching other nearby islands. After the eruption ended, what remained was a 2.5 km or 1.6 mile wide caldera which left a prominent circular scarp in the remaining islands. During the last ice age, smaller volume explosive eruptions constructed additional land on the remaining islands. Although one paper suggested that this activity has continued into the last 10,000 years, the Alaskan scientists I asked deemed this claim to be unlikely. The reason for the raised alert level of Davidov relates to a series of still ongoing small to moderate magnitude earthquakes which are occurring beneath its edifice. Some of these earthquakes are as shallow as 100 meters, suggesting the presence of an intrusion of magma at that depth. Despite this apparent activity, the lack of nearby sensors makes it incredibly difficult to make a firm conclusion on exactly what is occurring. I would place the odds of a new eruption at around 20%, which if one was to occur would construct a new lava dome and perhaps disrupt nearby air traffic. Assuming an eruption does occur, it wouldn't be the first occasion in the last century of a volcano long thought to be dormant or extinct producing an eruption. In 2006, the four-peaked volcano southwest of Homer in Alaska produced its first eruption in more than 10,000 years, surprising nearby residents. Even more impressive is the distant Australian McDonald Island, which erupted in 1992 after 75,000 years of dormancy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.